In this video, I just want to play the mix one last time to make sure there's no other changes I want to make before we bounce this mix and start to master it. We are very fortunate to have the individual tracks and have the mix here in front of us so we can make changes if we want before we go to master. I'm the one who recorded and mixed this song, so I do have an idea what it's going to need when I master it. The mastering process should only be an enhancement of what's there. And again, we are very fortunate to have the individual tracks and the mix here so we can make adjustments. Most of the time, I just get a stereo file to master and I cannot go back to the mix. There have been some cases where I've requested they go back to the mix and make changes and then I do the mastering. I'm sure you heard this before. Let's just fix it in the mix. Well. You definitely do not want to fix things in the mastering if you do not have to. Okay, I'm going to take a final listen to this mix and make sure I do not want to make any changes. So after listening, I tend to feel that the bass guitar is a little bit loud in the front of the song. You can hear how the drums and the band have not really intensified yet. So since I have the opportunity here to go in and bring this bass guitar down and fix it now, let's just go in and do that. First, let's make the height of the track a little bit larger. You can do that just by clicking in the amplitude area immediately to the right side of each track. And of course, there are different ways to change the height of the tracks, but for now, let's just use that one. Now I'm going to go over and switch to track view to volume so we can view the volume automation playlist. This will enable us to change volumes and put in automation breakpoints on this bass guitar track. Let's now zoom in a little bit so we can get a closer look at this waveform so we know exactly where to put our automation breakpoints. Let's play it right from here and see what it sounds like. By right-clicking on our mouse, now in Pro Tools 8, we can access our tools. Let's go select the Grabber tool so we can put in some automation breakpoints. Let's put in one breakpoint here, one automation breakpoint here, and one at the beginning where the waveform starts to get a little bit loud. And let's hit play. Staying with the grabber tool, let's click and drag down this automation line a couple of dB in order to bring down the volume of the bass in that section. Right click again on the mouse, the new feature in Pro Tools 8, go back to the selector tool and play. That sounds good. Let's check the end where it transitions back to the normal volume. the transition was really good and now you can hear he's playing a little bit more dynamically on the drums so the bass level should be good from here out 
Great. Sounds really good. There's a nice transition there from the lower volume that we put in, gradually goes up to the louder volume where it was. And just to reemphasize this one more time, it's always better to do any changes in the mix than it is to try to do the changes in the mastering. If I was to try to do this bass guitar change in the mastering, I'd have to bring down the bottom end and any other low end information on the mix would then suffer. So again, do it in the mix, not in the mastering. In the next video, I will show you how to clean up the front of the song and clean up the end of the song so there will be no extraneous noises on the file that we will use to master.